From Stromness, it's a straight 50 mile sea passage to the entrance to Loch Eribol on the northwest corner of Scotland. This lock has anchorages to suit just about all wind conditions. We were fortunate that the strong westerly and west northwesterlies perfectly suited the most easily accessible of all of these, Respond Bay. To make full use of the west going tide across the top of Scotland, we left Hoy Sound about an hour before the eastbound flow stopped, and this also ensured that the roofs were all safe. Finding our way into Rispond Bay was very straightforward, shelter was very good in the west and northwesterly winds, and holding was excellent. A tripping line is advised when anchoring in this bay. A common destination after Loch Eribol is to go into Kinloch Burvey. However, it's very busy in there with fishing boats. Uh, there's apparently quite a lot of wash, even in the anchorage opposite at Camus Blair, a lot of wash from fishing boats. So we didn't really fancy this, particularly with the weather forecast conditions being brisk westerlies stroke west northwesterlies. So we chose to go to Loch Laxford, which is just a couple of miles further south, into a place called Crow Harbour, which had superb shelter for these conditions, it was easy to find and had great holding with lots of space. Beautiful place and a very comfortable night. There are anchorages in this lock to cover just about all weather conditions, uh, with the most sheltered for south southwesterly through to westerly conditions being Weaver Bay, uh, further up the lock. But there are equally sheltered anchorages on the north side of the lock to cover anything from the north, the northeast, the northwest. It really is a superbly sheltered lock. Heidi hi campers, happy Friday, uh, we are just going round Cape Roth which is the headland over there with the lighthouse on it. It's been like Piccadilly Circus out here today, we've seen four other vessels, we didn't see any at all yesterday and you might just be able to see over there there's a yacht coming in the other direction quite close in. We were just saying we don't think we'd want to be that close to a lee shore. Um, but there you go, he obviously knows what he's doing and is happy, so that's fine. He's just about to go around it the other way. So we left our lovely little anchorage this morning, first thing. We were in a tiny, tiny little bay called, what was it called? Where we were anchored? Respond Bay. Respond bay which was in Loch Erebol. It was really gorgeous. Um, I had a good night's sleep because I'm getting much better at resting at anchor with rocks either side of me not too far away. So we're um, definitely on our way back down now and um, speak to you later. Quick post lunch update because the sun's come out and it's beautiful. The wind died but we're not overly sorry about that because um, a renowned rough piece of water and you can see there's quite a lot of swell coming our way and if we've got the wind with it it'd be a really uncomfortable ride um, mainly because when well, you're looking over there the next stop is Canada so there's an awful lot of water in the way a lot of fetch for the wind and the waves a long long way Finding the entry to Crow Harbour was really straightforward. Loch Laxford has a wide entry and one mile into the lock you'll come across Alien Ard, which is the, a large island on your starboard side. Turn behind that and Crow Harbour will be almost directly in front of you. Oh look at this everyone. This is where we're going to spend the night tonight. Um, it looks a little bit scary because there's just a lot of rocks everywhere. Chart plotter up, and I'm going to be following along on the iPad just to make sure we don't hit anything. But look at this, it's beautiful. I'm so excited.
holding was really good. We anchored in about five meters with plenty of swinging room and had a really comfortable and calm night. One of the most relaxing anchorages I've ever used. The Minch is not the calmest sea I've ever sailed in. In fact, it was quite unpleasantly choppy at times. Pilotage into Stornoway is straightforward, but do follow the Boyd Channel. And remember, you do need to get clearance to enter as there's a restriction when the ferries are moving. If you want fuel, bear in mind that a fender board may be necessary because it's a peered commercial jetty. I hope you found that useful or interesting or both. Please remember, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon. These things all help the channel grow.